I just had a fun little revelation. We have some little water bottles in our in our fridge. You can see them right here. Okay, so you see those. I think there was about six of them a few days ago. Uh -huh. And I thought to myself, these are taking up a lot of space in the fridge. So I'm just going to drink them and throw them away because I thought maybe the kids were keeping them for some reason and not really sure why. <laughs> and I just sat down to eat our our wonderful French bread pizza that we made. And Gracie informed me, I told her, uh, she said she wanted a drink and I said, Gracie, I said, there's some little bottled waters that you can have that are right there at the bottom of the fridge. And Gracie said to me, Dad, have you been drinking those? And I said, yes. And she goes, those are chlorine water from the swimming pool. <laughs> Let's go make a French bread pizza. Want to? Yeah, I like French pizza. Me too. We're gonna show you how to make French bread pizza. It is one of the simplest things that you can make. It's really cheap and it's dang good. Here's what you'll need. A $1 loaf of French bread, garlic salt, pizza sauce, Italian seasoning, and pepperonis, and cheese. That's it. All right, you're gonna need your cookie pan, cookie sheet. We are going to make some pizza today. And we like to take tin foil and put it on the cookie sheet because then let's clean up afterwards. And don't forget to heat up, preheat your oven. So we're going to heat our oven to 400 degrees. Throw it in for about 10 to 12 minutes. I have been missed. All right, now you need your big humongous knife. Cut it right down the middle. Your loaf of French bread, cut it right and down And make the sure middle. you don't cut your fingers. <laughs> make sure you don't cut your fingers. Just cut your bread. And something. Not Only French bread. And you spread it apart. Yep. Why aren't you going through the steps? Go through the steps. I am. We're going to put Italian seasoning. <laughs> and garlic salt. I would say more is better. Twitter. Ouch. All right, I forgot one other ingredient, which is Parmesan cheese. Put some Parmesan cheese on there. That smells disgusting. Oh, it's gonna taste amazing. Yeah, it's gonna taste amazing. But something okay. in, then we put our, we something put our in here smells on. like it's burnt. You gonna spread it all around? Okay. The other side. Can you go a little faster? What steps do we have left? Because I'm getting tired. My hands are in it. And I have a bug on my leg to itch. I like lots of sauce. And I like lots of toppings. Lots of bread toppings. The garlic salt and Parmesan and all of that. Because then it's almost like you're eating your pizza off of garlic bread. All right. It says Michael Harrison. No. Uh, what's her name? Then you're going to take the cheese. Who is this singing the song? Ingrid uh, Michaelson. Ingrid Michaelson, a famous singer that we like. Not famous, but it's famous to us. Yeah, she's pretty famous. She's famous, yeah. I like her. She sings good songs, so. Um, dum, 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 dum.
Okay. Now we've got all the cheese on. Yummy. Make sure to get the sides. I always get in trouble for not putting enough cheese on the sides. <laughs> Smells delicious. Yeah. Ah, see, just a few seconds ago you said it smelled like junk. No, not, not it smelled like junk. Something. I said something. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do. Look, take more Italian seasoning. Oh. Okay. This was uh, probably the thing. We're that spray that, or spray it. We're gonna sprinkle some of that on there. And then we're gonna do just a, just a little bit more garlic salt, too. Alright, lastly, we're going to put the Pepperonis on, and we're kind of boring. We just have pepperoni and cheese. Sometimes we have pineapple. Mmm, smells delicious. Be sure to have backup pepperonis on hand, just in case you feel the need to snack. Make sure you have proper background music so you can dance while making this as well. <laughs> And really, you can make this in about, I don't know, five minutes or so. So the same amount of time it would take you to call and wait for a pizza to come to you, you can have a delicious, homemade, handmade, homemade <laughs> pizza. <laughs> can I have a snack? Right, last little bit I'm going to do. We're going to just sprinkle just a little bit of cheese on top of the pepperonis to fuse them all together. This is probably the reason I'm not a cook too, because I always think the more you put on something, the better it tastes, and that's not always the case. We're going to throw that in for about 10 to 12, sometimes 15 minutes. You have to check on it after about 10 minutes. And once you do that, boom, you've got pizza on French bread, all for you. We'll show you what it looks like when we pop it out of the oven here in 10 or 15 minutes. We have about nine and a half minutes. We'll be ready to check this pizza and see if it's ready to be eaten by us pizza eaters. Our mailbox fell off today. We're completely redoing the girls' rooms. So we pulled all the toys out. Because Gracie's now gonna have her own room. There's the other girl's no, no, room no, no. right there. Okay, don't. We pulled all this stuff out. I made the secret room. I made this Oh, Gracie room. made this a secret room. It's only for Katie and Lexi because I can't fit through that little <laughs> that's, that's the cat door? No, it's the door that's for cats. Katie, no, that's Katie and Lexi's room. It's secret. This is going to be my room. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. This is where we used to have the playroom and now we've moved everything out and now it's officially Gracie's room with her big fat frog on the top Behind. of the chest of drawers. Behind, Behind me. Behind me. Oh gosh, yeah, there's all the stuff we pulled out. So I finally got my stable cam. I'm totally jazzed about it. So here's the stable cam, but you can't see it. So it has a little gimbal on it right here, right here in the middle. <laughs> It'll move all whichever way you need it to go. You can see down there. See, it's got this little weight at the Don't bottom. And that way you can use it to shoot really stable, Shh. stable videos. Oh, I get to go in the secret room. Here's the secret room. Hey, I need to go check on the pizza. <laughs> yeah. I need to go check on the pizza. A little bass hunter in the background for our 10, 9, 8 countdown. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have pizza! Yes! That looks amazing. I think we might wait, let it go for just a little while longer though. Maybe one more minute. Grace, what are you doing? Lex, what are you doing? You little bum. You want to see our secret way? Don't push. You want to see our, see our secret puppy way? Yeah, show me your secret puppy hey, way. Come on, Lexi. Come on. We're going to have to come over here. Put the camera over there, and you can see us crawl through our secret puppy way. Ready? Put the camera through. I can't see it. Up there. Up here. You can see it better on the top. 
Of course, secret puppy way. Secret puppy way. Secret puppy way coming up. Let's go check our pizza one more time. I think it should be ready now. Oh yeah, that's definitely done. As you probably know, you want to check for the cheese to be kind of golden brown on the sides. I have little dog children running around. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Oh yeah, cheese bubbling. See, all the cheese is golden brown. Perfection. There's only a few things that I can cook, but the few things that I know how to cook, I cook well. <laughs> and pizza's one of them, not like it's really that hard to mess up pizza. Let your pizza cool for a couple of minutes, cut it up. I recommend getting a pizza slicer to cut it off of a tray like this. They're super helpful and handy and quick versus trying to use other types of knives. Then once you cut it up, serve, eat, close your eyes when you eat it and just enjoy the deliciousness. I just had a fun little revelation. We have some little water bottles in our, in our fridge. You can see them right here, okay? So you see those? I think there was about six of them a few days ago. Uh -huh. And I thought to myself, these are taking up a lot of space in the fridge. So I'm just going to drink them and throw them away because I thought maybe the kids were keeping them for some reason and not really sure why. <laughs> and I just sat down to eat our, our wonderful French bread pizza that we made. <laughs> and Gracie informed me, I told her, uh, she said she wanted a drink and I said, Gracie, I said, there's some little bottled waters that you can have that are right there at the bottom of the fridge. And Gracie said to me, Dad, have you been drinking those? And I said, yes. And she goes, those are chlorine water from the swimming pool <laughs> that she brought home for her Barbie pool, apparently. And I've been drinking them, or I've drank at least half of them. So... Now I know what it's like to drink chlorinated water. Although I guess that's not new because you probably drink some when you're at the pool anyway, on accident. But uh, newsflash, chlorine water, chlorinated water, tastes just as good as regular water when it's refrigerated. <laughs> However, who knows how many people's skin and other gross things were in that water. Anyway, fun little discovery tonight that so I've now officially in the water. That, that I've officially drank in chlorinated water that and perhaps so someone has peed in. Thank you for that. <laughs> ha ha ha. What? <laughs> <laughs> you little turkey. Eat your pizza. Don't spit your water out because you're laughing so hard.